Hey, praise the Lord, everybody. Pastor David G. Grogan, Sr. I'm the senior pastor at Sojourner Life Ministries in San Antonio, Texas, and I am the voice of Phoenix's Javelin. Good to be with y'all again here on this uh, Tuesday. Um, before I go any further, if you like what you hear on my uh, videos, y'all, I ask that you subscribe to my channel, Pastor David G. Grogan, Sr. Um, ring the bell, ding. When you ring the bell, you'll be notified when my videos come up. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down and leave your comments, okay? Lots going on, as like you hear me say all the time, because there really is lots going on. This particular article, y'all, I'm going to um, start this article off with a scripture. And I, I, I you know, I, I have to do this because you have to understand this thing. Uh, the word of God stands very clear. God doesn't deviate from, what, from the promises that he has made. And so... With all that's going on right now, and especially what's going on in our country, this particular article, those that are in this particular article are trying to liken what's going on in this country with what's going on in Israel, between Israel and Palestine. So whether you like this or not, you know, that's that's between you and, and God or, or whoever you serve. But I want to read this scripture. This right here comes out of... Um, the book of Genesis, the 12th chapter. I'm going to read the first uh, three verses about that. And this speaks of uh, a divine call from God. You know, God chose uh, the Hebrews not because they were the largest nation, but he chose them because they were the smallest nation. So that way, that way they could not say that it was their might. It was their military might. When God did conquest over those people where he sent his people to go into for the purpose of of, of, of his creation and, and growing the creation and the creation coming to this point and the Savior to come, he chose Israel. He chose the Hebrews, uh, the Jews, okay? Those that so many people hate, can't stand the Jews. I mean, you know, uh, the, the uh, Germans, Nazis killed the Jews. You have, um, you have the Muslims, they hate the Jews. So everybody hates the Jews, but you know what? You can hate the Jews all you want. But this is the thing. The Jews themselves as individuals answer to God. They answer to God. Okay. So the nation itself also answers to God. But the nation, which was chosen by God, is always going to be the apple of God's eye, whether you like it or not. So let me read these couple of verses. Uh, uh, once again, this is Genesis, the 12th chapter, verse 1 through 3. And this is out of the King James Version. Uh, now the Lord had said unto Ab to Abram, get thee out of thy country and from thy kindred and from thy father's house unto a land that I will show thee. And I will make of thee a great nation and I will bless thee and make thy name great and thou shalt be a blessing. And I will bless them that bless thee and curse him that curseth thee and in thee shall all families of the earth be blessed. OK, so this is the thing, y'all. People like to say, well, you know, that was, you know, in the Old Testament dispensation. And 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 I don't believe that. And I don't I don't listen to that. I don't care about that. But this is the thing. Whether you believe it or not, it doesn't matter whether I believe it or not. It doesn't matter. Uh, God is God. And so what he has done and what he has purposed is going to come to pass. The word of God is eternal. So. The sentiment that God gives us is good as good today as it was 4,000, 5,000 years ago. It hasn't changed. The sentiment is the same. Okay. So with that said, this particular article is coming out of the Daily Wire. Um, and you can find the same article uh, for uh, my friend who doesn't like the Daily Wire. <laughs> You can find the same article in the um, Clarion News, okay, and several other news. Actually, you can find the, the, the very same article. Uh, matter of fact, let me give you another one just so you'll know that you can find this particular article also in the, let me go here. Um, you can also find this article. Cause I don't want y'all to think that I just read one thing and go on with it. Uh, uh, let me see. Here you go. Um, I had it down here. The Daily Signal, I think, is also the Clarion News. That's it. That's the one I just gave you, the Clarion News. So you can find this article in that particular uh, uh, space also. Okay? So let's get on with it. 
uh, Representative Cori Bush praises Black Lives Matter activists who called for death of cops. I told you before, Black Lives Matter, these are a bunch of heathens. What's a heathen? A heathen is is a is a is a is a unsaved person. Uh, uh, these are people that they're 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 full of contempt for anybody that doesn't believe the way they believe, and they have a great contempt, I believe, for God and His omniscience and for Christianity. They really do. They don't care about what God says. They don't care about Jesus Christ. As far as they're concerned, Jesus Christ was a was a white uh, supremacist. Um, Jesus, a white, right, right, white supremacist Christ. They don't care about him. And when I read this article, you're going to see why I say that. So the, once again, the title, Representative Cory Bush praises Black Lives Matter activists who called for death of cops. May, this is May the 15th, 2021, now the day, uh, of the day Wire um, Ass Show is the author of this particular piece, okay? So um, the Representative Cory Bush, a Democrat, of course, that, that shouldn't be a surprise to any of us. A Democrat uh, um, uh, during uh, 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 during Democrat Missouri during a speech on the floor of the House of Representatives on Thursday praised Black Lives Matter activists who previously called for the death of police officers. The New York Post represented uh, me, reported that Bush brought up Palestinian American activist Bassam Massar Masri, who after the 2014 police shooting of, Ferg in, um, of Ferguson, Missouri, teenager Michael Brown Jr. Uh, would, would, uh, would, would stream himself uh, berating police officers outside the Ferguson Police Department as a, as a, a part of the protest. So before I go any further, this man now, uh, this um, Bassam Marshri uh, passed away. He died in, in, in 2018. Uh, I, I venture to say, based on his con his conduct, that he was not saved, and if he was not saved, as if you are not saved, and you do something, and you don't receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, this is one thing that that's going to be a surprise to I believe so many people. God God has given us warning. Jesus Christ gave warning to all of those that would not believe on Him as the Lord and Savior of humanity. That if you did not believe on Jesus Christ and you died in your unrepentant sin, hell will be your home for an eternity. And that's, listen to me, y'all, whether you believe that or whether you don't, your unbelief is not going to change what is. Just as God says, I am, hell is what is. God didn't create hell for humanity. He created hell for Satan and the fallen angels who would rebel against him. But if you rebel against God the way Satan has and the fallen angels have, then you will receive the same condemnation that they do. Hell will be your home. Let's go on. So I'm praying for, for your death and your death and your death and your death. He repeatedly said in, in, uh, in one video, according to the Post, and if you read uh, one of the other articles, it says that he went down the line of these police officers during a protest, and he pointed at them one at a time. I'm praying for your death and your death and your death and your death. Now, how in the devil can you even follow somebody like that? And then Cori Bush, she's a Democrat, a representative of Cori Bush. How could you even listen to such a mean, wicked woman as she is? Listen to me, y'all. These people are devils. They have they they do as their father does, and their father is Satan. They follow around behind him. They have the same personality characteristics as he does: hatefulness, anger, rage. You know, uh, um, um, unforgiveness. Uh, they, they 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 are very uh, repulsed at God as the King of Kings. And Lord of Lords, they have no belief in him and his sovereignty. So therefore, they fight against him and they fight against everything that's right by him. Black Lives Matter is complicit in a lot of the hatred and the rage that's going on around this country. But they have their they are in league with or they have the backing of people like Representative Cory Bush.
Okay, so Masri also tweeted incendiary incendiary uh, comments regarding police officers, including pigs in a blanket, fry them like bacon. Uh, that was a quote from him, which was repeated as a chant by other protesters. Several police officers have been killed following anti-police rhetoric from Black Lives Matter and supportive politicians. That's right. This woman happens to be one of them. Amazri died in 2018 before the most recent wave of Black Lives Matter riots. Uh, uh, Cory Bush, or Bush, it says in the article, mentioned Masri in a speech comparing uh, the Black Lives Matter movement to the current conflict in the West Bank. That's why I read that scripture first, y'all. I read that scripture first because what they're doing is they're trying to say that the thing that's going on here in the United States between Black Lives Matter or the blacks and the police is synonymous or the same as what's going on between Israel and Palestine. Let me read. As a Palestinian, he has, um, he has, a uh, uh, he was ready to resist, to rebel, to rise up with us as our uh, St. Louis community mourned Mike Brown Jr. state, Mike, Mike, Mike Brown uh, Jr. state uh, sanctioned murder, and as as it state state sanctioned murder. Now get this, they're saying that the political processes, the the police state as they're called it, sanctioned this murder. Okay, this is the thing. However, it happened. It was very unfortunate. The thing with 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 uh, with uh, um, um, uh, George Floyd was a murder. That was a murder. It wasn't state sanctioned. The cop that did it, him personally, he murdered George Floyd. The state didn't sanction the murder of George Floyd. Listen to me, y'all. You have got to listen to the wording of these people when they say these things, because if you don't. You will walk around and you will be angry. You will be enraged with, 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 with the whole police force. You'll be enraged with all police because when this woman says state sanctioned, she's saying that the, that, the, that the police force, the hierarchy of the police force, got behind these, pe these police officers that either murdered or, or, or by, their, um, by their ways that they, they, they captive, captivated or shot at these people, that they were state sanctioned. Remember I told you before, people make mistakes and people and even police officers are murderous. They themselves have, they're in the flesh. And so they do things that are against the righteousness and the things that they should be doing. But not all the cops, all the cops, the, 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 uh, the states and the government does not sanction cops to go out and kill Black people. This is what Cory Bush would have you to believe, and this is what this uh, Masri would have you to believe before he died and went to wherever he went. So, uh, state uh, a state sanctioned murder, and as we de as we demanded an end to the uh, militarized police occupation of our communities, uh, Bush said Thursday, according to Fox News, Palestinians. Uh, Palestinians who uh, uh, know what state violence militarized policy and occup occupation of their communities look like. So when heavily militarized police forces showed up in Ferguson in 2014, uh, Bosman, um, Bosman and so many others of the St. Louis Palestinian community, our, our Palestinian siblings uh, showed up to, uh, showed up to, Bush continued. On Twitter, Bush uh, further compared Black Lives Matter to the current conflict in the West Bank. Quote, the fight for black lives and the fight for Palestinian liberation are interconnected. We expose our money, excuse me, we oppose our money uh, going to uh, fund militarized policy, uh, uh, policing occupation and systems of violence across and trauma. Uh, oppression and trauma, rather. We are anti-war, we are anti-occupation, and we are anti-apartheid, uh, uh, period, period, she wrote, uh, ignoring the, the, the role the terrorist group Hamas and Palestinian authorities have played in the conflict, and they're always going to do that. If you, if you want to make it, Cory Bush, if you want to make it likened to the Palestinian, what's happening in Israel, in Palestine, and yet you will ignore the the terrorist group Hamas and what they're doing. 
you're doing the very same thing here in the United States when you ignore the gangs, the Crips, the Bloods, you know, the the all these groups, gangs of, of names that are so many, I could not even mention them, all over this country. And they're doing the very same thing. They're going out raising, corrupting. They're fighting against the police. They're fighting against the communities. They're killing and stealing from their own people, Corey Bush. And you got a nerve to act like the, the, that the police that are here in this country to keep you, keep you safe from hurt, harm, or danger. You got a nerve to talk against them. And you know, if I was them, I would say, if anybody ever calls from Corey Bush about if she ever calls for help, remember, she don't want the police's help. Don't go. But you know what? Because they are honorable. And they know that they're not state sanctioned Corey Bush to destroy black lives, to kill black people. They're gonna come to your aid because that's what they are, that's what they that's what they do. That's their that's their job. They train to do it, and they and that's their heart is to keep safe Corey Bush you so that even you can with all of your incendiary rhetoric, with all of your hatred, with all of your your victory all coming out of your mouth, you can even be safe in the United States of America to say the things that you're saying, because I guarantee you this, if you were in other countries, Cori Bush, and you spouted off the way you do as a woman in another country, as a black, they would kill you dead. They wouldn't even think about whether or not you were safe or not, Cori Bush. They would take your life because you, because as far as they're concerned, you don't have a right to speak out the way you have the freedom to speak out here in the United States of America. And the very police that'll come to your aid when somebody decides to break into your house, Corey Bush, take your stuff, try to rape you or stomp you into the ground the way a lot of black people are stomping Asians into the ground and stuff like that. You'll be calling them to come help you. And you tell me that you won't. Listen to me. I hate this. I hate this because Corey Bush is a liar. She's a liar and she and she and she's going to do everything that she can to make people hate each other. She wants black people to hate the cops and not trust them. She wants white people and black people to hate each other. And she's going to do anything she can to make it seem like, to say that this is like Palestine and Israel. That's why I read that scripture at the beginning. Because listen to me, Corey Bush, you need to understand something with your ungodly self. Those that rise up against Israel, God is going to deal with each individual Israeli person the same way he deals with each of us individually based on our sin. He's going to deal with each individual person to person. But as a nation, God made a promise to Israel, Cory Bush. And when God makes a promise, Cory Bush, God sticks to his promise. And he promised that those that bless Israel will be blessed. But those that curse Israel, they will be cursed. So what you have, Cory Bush, is you have a lot of people in the United States of America and in the third world countries they hate Israel. They hate Israel. Germany hate Israel. Russia hate Israel. The, you know, the Palestinians, they hate Israel. You hate Israel. And I guarantee you this. If you die in your unrepentant sin, personally, Cory Bush, without giving your life to Christ, without re repenting of your sin, you're going to die and you're going to go to hell. And you're going to remember everything that you said. You're going to remember everything that was ungodly that you stood for. You're going to remember me telling you this if you see this video. Whether you see it or not, that doesn't change the fact that what is is what is, Corey. But you ought to be careful about what you're doing. This is me. God loves you. He sent his son, Jesus Christ, who was a Jew, Corey Bush, to die on the cross for your sins so that you wouldn't have to die and go to hell. The only thing you have to do is repent of your sin, make the profession of faith. And if that you do that, the word of God says you shall be saved, Corey Bush. But listen to me, you are so hateful, you are so mean, you are so nasty, you are so untoward, you are so unforgiving, and you want to stay relevant, and you want to cause strife, you are a troublemaker. And because of that, Corey Bliss, I guarantee you this, when your end comes, if you don't change, you're going to be surprised when you stand before a holy God. Yes, you will, when you stand before a holy God. Let's go on. So this happens every time a conflict between Israel and Palestine arises. Politicians like Bush blame Israel and portray Palestine as nothing but victims. The same way they do here. They, they, they blame the white people. They blame, they blame uh, the police. And they portray black people in the United States as nothing but victim. I'm not a victim, Cory Bush. I'm not a victim. I know how to deal in this life. 
I believe in God. I believe in Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. Who the Son sets free, who the Son of God sets free, is free indeed, Corey Bush. That's why you're so bound. That's why you're so bound, because you haven't received Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. So you are bound, and you'll never be free with the heart that you have. Keep your heart with all diligence, Corey Bush, for out of it are the issues of life. I guarantee you this, when it all comes out in the wash, you're going to be very surprised. And you'll look back once again. I hate I have to keep on saying this. You're going to look back on the very day that you said what you have said in this article. The comments that you made, you're going to look back and it's going to be played over and over and over for an eternity in your suffering, Corey Bush. I don't want that for my worst enemy, my worst enemy to go to hell. And the reality of it, nobody that's watching these videos of mine or that knows the word of God should want anybody that they know their worst enemy to go to hell. That's why we always tell people, don't tell anybody, don't tell somebody, don't tell somebody to go to hell. You don't tell them that because when you do that, you're, you're, you're showing a complete sense of ignorance of what the word of God says about the torment of hell. It's terrible what's going on in this country. So Hamas and Palestinian authorities uh, hide weapons in, in civilian areas, killing civilians when they are launched. Listen to, that, listen to that. Meanwhile, Israel goes out of its way to announce its attacks to give civilians time to evacuate in order to minimize casualties. Listen to me. This is so good because she wants to make it seem like what's happening here is the same thing that's happening in Israel and Palestine. Well, usually the thugs, Black Lives Matter, Antifa, and all of these, these other groups, what they do, they do the same thing that Hamas does. They do the same thing that they do. They, 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 go, into the, they go into these communities innocent where innocent kids are, where innocent people are, y'all, that haven't done anything to them, and they destroy their property. They want to terrify, they want to terrorize them in their homes. They shoot, they beat up, they stomp, they they push their self and they pump their chest out like those three girls that did three times in one day within an hour and a half went into a went into a, a into a a, a, a a liquor store and terrorized the owners of that liquor store, tore their stuff up three times, three black girls, but you know all black lives matter and black people we don't do anything wrong we don't we don't cause no problems. You know, everybody, the reason they, they had a reason to do that. They did that because, oh, because of how they had been abused in their past by the white people, by the Jews. And, but yet at the same time, when the police come, they announce themselves. They announce themselves with sirens. They announce themselves with boarding. If they're going to break into somebody's home, they'll let you know, hey, police, not going to boom, 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 police before they enter. At least they do that. At least you know they're coming. How you're treated after that depends on how you how you how you conduct yourself. Listen to me, y'all. You can you can hate me <laughs> and call me. I had some I had somebody send me a little short thing and I couldn't even reply back to it because they made sure that I couldn't. They told me that I ought to be called an Uncle Tom. You can call me whatever you want to call me. It doesn't matter to me. Because I know my I know that God calls me David. I know that God calls me blessed because I believe on him and him and Jesus Christ, him, him crucified. So if you think that you calling me names is going to hurt me, it doesn't. But when I say something about somebody, that they're mean and they're nasty and they're untoward, the proof is in the pudding. Look at Cori Bush. Look at the way she's conducting herself. Look at the things that she said. Look at who she's aligning herself with. Black Lives Matter. Look who they're aligning themselves with. Listen to me. It's unfortunate, but it is exactly what it is. Let me go on. It says, yet politicians like Bush insist Israel is in the wrong. In addition uh, to wishing death upon cops, Masri also yelled at a police officer, coward straight, uh, coward straight pig out here, coward straight pig out here, B-I-T-C-H. Uh, you you got to go. Your life is in danger, homie. And ask what happens when we take your gun. Now, this is the type of person that he was before he died. This is the type of person that he was before he died. Uh, Masri also insisted that uh, because, he, uh, because he and others were angry, police should automatically accept they are in the wrong. He told a local Fox affiliate, quote, if, if, the, citizens, if, if, if the citizen is pissed, 
you don't know at the you don't know at that since you don't know you don't excuse me you don't look at that citizen and say oh he's bad he's a terrorist you look at that you look at the police and say how come this man is mad at y'all so this this is what this is his thought process this is his thought process that's the end of the article this is his thought process and this is Cory Bush's thought process this is Black Lives Matter's thought process so they want you to believe and Cory Bush wants you to believe and this gentleman who's now dead and wherever he's at um, would have you to believe that what's going on in the United States of America is is a is a synonymous with what's going on in or indicative of what's going on in Israel and Palestine couldn't be further from the truth. This country is so blessed. We in this country are so blessed that even people like Cori Bush, she can sprout her mouth off. She can be just as angry as nasty as she wants to be. She can get on national TV. She can rail against uh, the police, the, uh, the police force in this country, and do it without being worried about the police coming and dragging her away from the podium and billy clubbing her, or maybe, or maybe, or maybe, or maybe beating her over the head, you know, with the mic, you know, or, or maybe just shooting her on the spot. She can do this freely, freely. Black Lives Matter, they can march in the streets. They can march in the streets with their signs, and they can, they can stop traffic, they can bully people, they can burn people's stuff up, and then have politicians like Cory Bush to rally around behind them and say that what they're doing is not wrong. They have people like Cory Bush to say that Israel is wrong, what they're doing. People say that, well, Israel, Israel has is 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 a better equipped than than Palestine. Palestine is a much larger nation than Israel. But Israel has the promise of God to back them up. And once again, each individual in Israel will give an account to God for their own sin. But when it comes down to the nation of Israel, God, the promise that God made Abraham. Before he became Abraham, the promise that God made him, that he would be the, the father of many nations, that promise is going to stand, y'all. God is not going to change that promise. And so when you can get angry, you don't, don't get angry with me, you be angry with God. If you're mad at God about what you see taking place in, in, in Israel and Palestine, then you, then you talk to God about it. You call him a murderer. You call him a thief. You call him a liar. You call him all the nasty things that you want to call the police here, that you want to call Israel. If you so bold, Corey Bush, and you so blatant, and all of those that are in league with you, Black Lives Matter, if y'all are so bold and so blatant to think that you're going to do anything to the true and living God and have him change his love for his humanity, you couldn't be further from the truth. You are in error. You are in error. And as long as you stay in error, and you live your life the way you do, every knee shall bow, Corey Bush, and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord of things in earth, of things on the earth, and of things under the earth. You're going to give an account, Corey Bush, for your heathenism. With that said, if you're not saved, receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Ask the Lord to come into your life and be the Lord of your life all the remaining days of your life. The, the word of God says in Romans, the 10th chapter, verse 9 and verse 10, you make the profession with your mouth and you believe with your heart unto righteousness. If you believe that Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins and rose on the third day with all power, the word of God says you shall be saved. Whoever calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Listen to me. If you know that you're a sinner, ask the Lord to forgive you of your sins first. And he said, if you, if you ask him to forgive you of your sins, he said he will come into your life and be the Lord of your life all the remaining days of your life. He'll forgive you of your sin, and he'll re, he, he will he will clothe you in his righteousness. That's First John, verse uh, chapter one, verse nine. Listen to me, y'all. It's unfortunate that you have these people, and I don't I, I don't for the love of me, I do not know why these people are so angry. But then I do. I answer my own question. I I I try to answer my own dilemma about them they are they hate god and if you have if you don't retain god in your spirit then you have no peace these people are tormented they're tormented in their sleep they're tormented in their days they're tormented in their recreation they're tormented because they have not received jesus christ as your lord and savior they're very unforgiving 
they're very um, they 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 feel a need once again to remain relevant, and that their relevance is going to come at the way of causing trouble. Because as long as their names are in 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 the in the media, then they know they can say, "Ah, oh, look look at me, look at me. I'm boy. I look at their people. I I made them mad. I I I'm doing this. I'm doing that." But you know what? They don't make me mad. What they do? They 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 they. they they frustrate me because I don't understand how they could be so nasty. These are black people that that they're victimized and they have a victim mentality and they blame everybody for everything that's going on in their life and they will not find peace in their life. Peace that they can that they can spread in the community. Peace that they can truly show our brothers and sisters, you know, black, white, or indifferent, what real peace is. But it's like they want the wars that are waging around this country, around this in the globe. They want the same type of war here in this country, and they want it between uh, blacks and the police, blacks and whites. They 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 want it just like they they're not going to stop until they incite a war in this country. And the ones that are doing it every time that I read an article is these Democrats, and what's worse, there's these black Democrats, and then they're backed up by the old white man that y'all voted in, that everybody talks about, that everybody talks, says that he, he's going to heal the soul of the nation. The nation is getting worse and worse and worse under the Biden administration. He's got all these people like Cori Bush speaking for him, going on for him. He's doing nothing good for this country, y'all. The administration's not. Black Lives Matter's not. And finally, Corey, Representative Cory Bush is not. Okay? So until we come back together again in our next video, God bless you. Y'all, be of good cheer. Take heart. But know um, who, 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 who keeps your soul. Know who keeps your soul. And don't deviate from the word of God. If you know it, cling to it with all of your heart, with all of your soul, with all of your might. And then love your neighbor as yourself. God bless you. And farewell, y'all.